Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Taste Good Barbecue. What I have for you today is I'm going to be doing up some deep fried pickles on the Blackstone Range Top Combo. Enjoy. All right, let's get rolling here with this uh, deep fried pickles. So I got about two cups of flour. Here. Have my pickles, and then one of the things that that I use, I use uh, some cayenne pepper, and I also use Cajun seasoning. Those are my two seasonings. I mean, feel free to find out what works for you, um, and roll with it, whatever you like. So we'll start with some Cajun. Call it about two Dr. Taste Good sized tablespoons. And about the same with the cayenne pepper. Do a little mix. And season as you want. I'm actually going to add a little bit more of both of these. You can kind of tell, I'm probably, probably using way too much flour. I'm only doing up about 40 of these pickles today. All right. There we go. So that's kind of what we look like there. It smells Cajun y and cayenne -y. Then the next step, I don't put anything else on these guys. All I do here is just plop them into the flour, try to spread them out a little bit. You could probably also do this in a paper bag, or a plastic bag, excuse me. Paper bag, <laughs> hey maybe that's a video we can do, we can try it. Just pop them around there, and they are ready for the fryer. We're going to be frying today, I'm going to try to dial it in about 350 what I've found works pretty good and I'll show you guys that the Blackstone basket on the uh, the range top combo there as we go actually I don't don't really use it as much as I thought I I would um, but I do use those side burners all the time so let me get these finished up here and we'll get them on over and start frying All right, so I overshot my temp a little bit. Um, I'm sitting about 390 or so. So I've turned the burners down a little bit, see if I can get this to cool down. And I also think that these uh, these pickles here are going to actually help cool it down a little bit. You don't want to overcrowd. Um, this is the first time trying to dropping them in up top here. I hope, like heck, they don't stick. Oh, we'll see. Might as well try it. I might as well make the mistake so you guys don't. Oh, that's good for a first batch here. I'm not sure how these are going to be. There we go. So we'll roll these guys. Um, you can move them around, bounce them around. But you'll see as they get done, they'll actually rise to the top and kind of float. Get that uh, crust. Nice and crisp there. Yeah, they're cooking quick. Well, so much for thinking that the temple is going to go down. Cooking hot and fast.
You get a pretty good looking at it. You see those floaters? I think kind of floating around. You can kind of move them up a little bit. Let's see if you can flip them. You can get a spoon in there, flip them around, tongs, whatever you want. Okay, we got floaters. Almost good. Batch number one. Ooh, crisp. Very nice. All right, well, we'll just fast forward through the rest here and we'll have ourselves a little taste test. All right, so as promised, let's check them out. Some right in your face. Hey, let me give you a close up here. Nice golden brown. Well seasoned. There we go. A little hot. I think the kids would say hot AF. Pretty much the right amount of seasoning on those. Not too spicy. These are heat hot. Thanks for watching. Hey, give these a shout at home. If you don't have a, a range talk combo with the fry basket on the side, you can use like a lodge or any cast iron skillet. Put a little bit of oil in there. Same thing. Just get one of those, I don't know, some type of a ladle that will drain. And you can do this too. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. I will see you next time. Probably tomorrow.